What's up guys, Wondermink is here, back again for another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Today we're gonna check out the Charlotte Family Champion Challenge on 50 Stamina. And gonna showcase my new legend at the same time. If you're not guessing which one it is, I'll leave it to the video. So, let's get to it. Okay, so time for the Katakuri family challenge. We will obviously use our newest legend, Charlotte Katakuri. I was able to pack this bat boy with two multis, both of which were six no 30, 30 gem multis. So in total it cost me 60 gems to get Katakuri, Bobbins. And also uh, Charlotte Oven. So we're going to jump right in. And I will have the important stage uh, infos on the right. That way I don't have to explain them so so much in detail. So the first stage we can just tap everyone out since our cerebral characters get 15 turns reduced in their cooldowns. We also get an orb boost for some reason but that doesn't matter for us. Second stage is some elder turtles which again we can just tap out since we don't have to stall for cooldowns. All right, first stage is against Bobbins. Bobbins does paralyze us for a, for a one turn, but the cooldowns on the green ladies are so that we can just use up one turn. And we can now slay the green ladies and then just take our time against bobbins it's a two turn ko and there on to stage four stage four is against brulee Brule gets some annoying shields, but we also get <clears throat> an attack boost from Chopper, which is nice. So here comes our Bobbin special that removes all of his sh all of her shields, and then once again we can just tap our way through since we are doing that much damage to her. There, onto stage 5 of Amande. Amande has the counter stance. That's that's not a huge problem, but if like if you're not entirely sure if you can take her out in one turn, I suggest you just tank one hit from her. She doesn't do much. Even if even if I had hit her with Katakuri, she would have done like 4000 damage maybe. So once again, just tap our way through. We will be able to delay her with Katakuri special. No, Katakuri's Captain ability, I'm sorry. Her special reaction only reacts to specials. So we are safe if we are using the Katakuri's Captain action to do this. Okay, now we are taking a hit, because I wasn't able to tap correctly. Luckily we get some recovery orbs. Not that it matters, we're not taking any damage anymore. On to stage 6 with Oven. 
oven limits are specials, so if, if you need to, you can use two specials per turn, but because we have Katakuri team, we don't need to use specials that much. Now we can delay him. Again, they only react to specials, so you can delay them with Katakuri's captain ability. Which is sort of cheating, but sort of not. It, it's, it's just a really fun captain to use. So yeah, boost our attack, get matching orbs, get the delay boost, and hit our perfects so that we can face Katakuri with an attack boost, which I think I failed to do. Yep, I failed to do it. But that's okay. Let's just use our Katakuri special to get matching orbs. Mow him down enough so that we can delay him. And once again we can delay him with Katakuri's captain ability. These guys only react to specials. And now use our Kuma special to get orb boost. Pedro for affinity boost. And strike with our red characters last. There. Easy as pie. You can clear this with a judge team, uh, a Dofi team, and even if you, even with a Luffy Ace team, if you're tricky enough. But Katakuri definitely makes it the easiest. You might. Might be able to clear the Robin team using Katakuri Friend Captain, but I haven't really tried. So yeah, that was my clear, that was my Katakuri team, an excellent legend in my opinion, one of my favorite units to use in the near and maybe even far future. So this is the end of the video, I hope you liked it. Uh, Hit the like button, subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!